Welcome back to the channel. Been a couple weeks since we did a video. Uh, last one we did these uh, rim boards. Now we're putting down deck pan and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. It's been crazy. The weather has been cold and very windy up here so it's hard to work with this stuff in the wind. Today is unseasonably warm so we're gonna try and get done as much as we can over the next two or three days actually. It's gonna be nice. No wind today so I'm gonna lay this deck pan. A few people have commented on a couple of the prior videos about how this seems like it's going together so well and where did you learn all this, how to do that, and um, it looks like it's going well, but uh, there are always challenges. I mean, the stuff so far, the entire build has gone incredibly well, and I attribute that to hiring really good qualified uh, people with experience and having a really good plan put together with contingencies. As much as you can now there's always a situation where you're gonna have to figure stuff out on the fly pretty much all the time and that's what's going on with this uh, porch I mean I had a good idea of what I wanted to do but I wasn't hundred percent sure I'd never worked with these materials before good example was this deck pan I started laying it all down 42 feet which is three or, which uh, these are pa panels are three feet wide so that would take 14 perfect sheets well, I laid 14 sheets down screwed it all together and it went like that and expanded so I had like eight inches of overlap then I realized well you probably should do one panel at a time and not lock them down and that's what I'm doing now so it takes twice as much time but it's what you got to do so I started at that end I'm now here I am screwing them into the steel I-beam with self tapping metal screws I'm fastening them to the brick ledge with tap cons because we can't really weld over there we'll melt plastic we're gonna come back and puddle weld to the beam and that'll hold everything in place then we got to build forms so that the concrete just doesn't run off so we got a lot of work left i'm gonna try and get it done in the next four days let's get to work all right a couple scrap blocks kind of line it up pretty much in the center and Basically, we're just trying to create an inch and a half standoff from this board on both ends. And then we'll bring it in or bring it out the whole way, keeping an inch and a half gap. And that'll straighten any wave out. So that's the plan. Put a little pin. For our string line. And do the same on the other end. I'm about to the end of the front porch where the transition needs to happen so we rotate the deck pan this way we'll start going that way for the deck to do that I got to put that piece of angle iron right here so I'm gonna set this block here cut a slit in the brick ledge lay the angle into the slit and bolt the other end to the block giving me a surface that I can bear this deck pan on First I'm going to drill two holes, put a couple lengths of rebar in, then we have to mix up some mortar and set this block on it, epoxy, get it all, let it sit for a while, let it get rock solid. So first I'm going to drill some holes for the rebar. I gotta blow these out so that we can put uh, epoxy adhesive down in there.
my string laid out, strung from here all the way to the other end. I got my layout marks every three feet on both this wall and this fascia board so I can squeeze these panels together and get them exactly where they need to go as we go along. Setting this first panel is the most important. It has to be perfectly square with the house, level, straight, all that. This uh, fascia board bows out a little wee bit, about a half an inch. I couldn't get the clamp figured out how to get it to pull in. There's nothing to pull on, so got to be creative, I guess. Four-wheeler works perfect. Now it's, it's perfectly, that bow is out of the board. This is square, and I'm just going to cinch it all down. I might actually do two here, just for good measure, keep that bow out of the board. Put one here in this corner. Okay, the wind's picking up, but at the risk of over explaining here, got that end clamped to the board. Got the center screwed down. This end is clamped to the board. This clamp squeezes the first panel to the right size so that the rib falls right on my mark, both here and on that end. I tapped and screwed the two panels, first two panels, to the steel beam below. Uh, I'm gonna tap con into the concrete brick ledge on that end. And then our first panel will be set and square, and we can go ahead and the rest will be a little easier. That's kind of the method to the madness. And once we get this all set, then we'll come in and uh, puddle weld or spot weld each of these ribs to the steel beam below so that it doesn't move at all. down into the first part of the second panel. I'm going to take all the clamps off, cross your fingers that this doesn't move. This is already off. That's in there, that's good. Sweet. Good. second column. I'm going to try to take the bow out of this board. It's not very bad. So this is a half inch here at this uh, block. And it's a half inch there. So hook this. Come to seven two right there. Alright, so we're gonna hook this to the beam. Get us a half inch here.
Okay, so I can't go any farther until I get these blocks set and the angle in so that I can flash the rest of the brick ledge so that I can finish the pan. So that's where we're at. I'm going to mix up some mud so I can set these blocks. Perfect. Okay, I tried to make this cut in the brick ledge with a sawzall, which I knew wasn't going to work, but I wanted to see if it would a little bit, and it didn't really. I got in about an inch. So I called my local steel dealer, who's an amazingly awesome, cool dude, and he said, I got a concrete saw sitting here. You can come borrow it, maybe give him 20 bucks, just because I just have to make two cuts. So I went and got the saw, and uh, that's exactly what I need to do. So we're going to set this up make these cuts and hopefully we'll be able to set this angle today. It works. So I need a face diaper. Everybody's worried about COVID. I don't want to breathe silica dust. kind of push in. Okay, it's out. More towards me a little bit. Whoop. Okay. Alright, you hold that in. Let's we'll see if we can get this in. That worked way better than I thought it was gonna. So now I just gotta bolt that in there. Bolt it into that block. Let's go ahead and clamp that if you want. Awesome. Now I just gotta do it again.
was easier without the stupid glasses. Like it's pretty flush. How far? No, yeah, okay. I'm about an inch off from the. Okay. Center. Okay. Dang tight. Hey, but it's out. Yeah, that's huge. Oh, that was a job. Double check the before we bolt this thing down. We need to make sure it's right. There we go. Perfect. Six foot three. So from in there, three inches where this last panel will fall is perfectly six feet, which is two panels from the center of there to right under the camera. Cutting fluid. Don't want your bit to get too hot. So on the list of hillbilly hinky stuff, here we go. We're gonna try to jack up three of these panels because we gotta get flashing between the panel and the brick ledge. Three, six, nine, wait, three, six, 
nine, ten. Okay, one, go. 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 Uh. What's up? Take up this side, not that side. No, it's all. It's all good. It's just. A nice little tree with olives and a note. Turn my Wi-Fi back on. <laughs> Well, it's been a long couple of days, but we got it done. Uh, front porch is done, buttoned down, everything's good. Everything is sealed between the deck pan and the house with a little bit of liquid rubber and a little bit of spray foam. That'll help keep the concrete from going under it and running down the wall once we start pouring. Uh, next we, well, I'm happy to have the angle iron in too. That worked perfectly. Um, a lot of fretting and crazy worrying about it, but finally got it done and it worked great. Now we go that way with deck pan and finish the deck side and I have a couple sheets left on the back porch but we made quite a bit of progress and this was a lot more time consuming uh, and labor intensive than I expected it to be. First I thought you could just zip all the panels together and rock and roll but that ain't the way it is. You gotta square up each one, get it squished, get it exactly three feet, button it all down, move on to the next one. So. But that's going to do it for this one. I'm going to try and get this posted and uploaded. We haven't done a video in about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.